Hey everyone, welcome back to part 9 of my Create Mod series. Now today we're going to go over on how to make a tunneler that'll be able to mine for you, and it'll also be able to collect all the blocks for you. If you enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe and drop a like, as we're about halfway to 700 subscribers. It's absolutely insane, so feel free to subscribe for more tutorials. Anyways, let's jump straight into the video. So... First off, there's going to be a couple requirements for this miner. The first thing is that you're going to need at least a 9 by 12 space to build this machine. Now, you can build your machine much larger, you can build it much smaller, so I recommend watching this video before you start building this type of machine. The next thing is this is a very basic miner that I'm building, so you're going to need at least a 1 by 2 pathway in the direction that you would like this thing to mine. You can build this as long as you would like, because this machine is going to pick up its own rails and continue to go as far as you would like it to go. The only thing is you need to at least build this type of uh, hallway down, down a path. That being said, I know that there's a ton of videos on YouTube that are going to talk about miners and drills and all of these different things, and every single person has designed their own version of this, and there's a ton of advantages and disadvantages for every single one of them. This is the most basic because I don't want to give you the most complicated machine out there because I know that in this tutorial, a lot of you guys are brand new to this mod, so having a nice simple machine is going to mine some blocks for you, and then you can make your own modifications for I think is the best idea for this video. That being said, there will most likely be another video in my future that's going to be like the most optimized version of this machine. So if you want to go ahead and reach out for that, go ahead and subscribe. Anyways, let's jump into the crafting. So this is everything you are going to need for this video. So these top two rows are everything you're going to need for the crafting. And then these rails and this wrench, the wrench you're going to need, I've crafted it in a, a couple different videos now. Uh, and then the rails, you could probably get away with about 10 of them. Uh, I have a stack in here just as an example, uh, but you could probably get away with about 10. So maybe watch the video first, and then from there you can decide on if you need more rails or not. Because our machine's going to be able to pick up the rails after it uses them, so you might not really need this many. Or, well, honestly, you're not going to need this many. But let's, uh, let's jump into the crafting side of this. So we're going to grab all of these different items. And the first thing we're going to make is a mechanical plow. So these are going to be three iron sheets, three andesite alloys, and an andesite casing. Nice and easy. Next thing we're going to make is a deployer, which is a brass hand, an electron tube, two cogwheels, and an andesite casing. So first off, if you don't know what an electron tube is, this is from rose quartz and sandpaper and all of those things. I'm going to have a video pop up on the screen where I've talked about electron tubes because this recipe alone was pretty crazy, um, but it's very cheap. It just takes some time and trying to get it to understand how it works. Now, the brass hand is just simply five brass sheets and an andesite alloy, so we can go ahead and craft that. And then the two cogwheels, andesite casing, and the electron tube we have turns into the deployer, so then we have that guy. And then uh, we'll, we'll skip over the drills for now. The next guy we're going to make is the controller rail. Now, the controller rail is six gold ingots, a stick, and an electron tube, and it makes six of them. Now, you're probably wondering why I've picked controller rails instead of any of the other rails that are in base Minecraft. And that's because the controller rail, the speed of the minecart is based on the power of the redstone signal. Now, if you use other types of rails, there's a chance that it will actually shoot it off the tracks and then that will cause this whole machine to break. So this is not that expensive, and this controller rail will allow you to have the perfect speed so that you're not going to have to worry about it coming off the rails. Uh, it does create six. We only need one of these guys, so we'll just go ahead and place the extra five over there. But that's why I'm using controller rails. Also, this is a part of the create mod, so I get to show off another create mod block. Now, the cart assembler is going to be our next thing. So these are three logs, two andesite alloys, and a redstone dust. So we'll craft that, and then the rest of these guys are going to turn into mechanical drills. So these are three andesite alloys, an iron ingot, and an andesite casing. So we'll go ahead and make 12 of those guys. So there we go. We are now all good to start building this machine. Okay, so I apologize for the jump cut that you probably just saw, but I built this machine, and then uh, I realized I misplaced a certain block, and it ruined the whole machine. So we're going to try this again. <laughs> Uh, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to go four blocks from where the front of your machine is going to be. So one, two, three, four, five right here. So then you're going to take your controller rail and place him. You're going to take your cart assembler, place him. And then you're going to take your linear chassis and place them like so. Now our drills are going to end up going on the other side. But first thing we're going to take is a slime ball. And then linear chassis, slime ball, linear chassis, slime ball, linear chassis, and then one more slime ball, linear chassis. 
and then place one, if I can click correctly, we're gonna place one like that way. So it's facing backwards. Then we're gonna take our slime ball. Remember to slime ball this. This is what I screwed up on. Place the deployer. And then you're gonna take a single rail. You're going to place it into his filter. So that's that little box right there. And then you're going to place it into his hand. And then one other step you need to do is just place one rail like so. Then we can slime ball this whole side. Take six of our drills and place them like that. We'll run to the other side real quick. And we'll slime ball these six and place our drills. Now the, this side can be expanded, the linear chassis, as many as you would like or as few as you would like. Uh, just keep in mind that the more you have, the more expensive resources it's going to take to build this thing. Uh, next step is we're going to slime ball there and there. Place our chests. Then we're going to slime ball here. Linear chassis, slime ball, linear chassis, and so on until we get to that. Place one backwards take our mechanical plow slime ball mechanical plow so now this will pick up the rails to put them back into our chest so speaking of chests uh on either one of these you have to put the rails inside so once you put them inside uh it's basically going to take them from this deployer and place them down and this plow is going to pick them back up and put them back in the chest so technically this can go on in infinitely as long as that little hallway that we have created is infinite so kind of keep that in mind um, our last step is we're going to place our minecart inside of there, take our redstone torch, and we're going to place it behind. And then we're going to let this guy start going. So you can see it is now actually mining all of these things, and it's not dropping the items into anywhere. It's actually placing them inside of both of these chests. So uh, you might see it might seem a little bit slow, but that's just because it is breaking about 12 blocks at once and then breaking this block. Um, but it can go for a good amount of blocks. I've done some tests in creative mode um, on my like creative world that I have, and I've had it go for about 100 blocks uh, as long as this pathway is open. But you can see it's already mined through coal and stuff. Now, wow, look, we already found diamonds. So I've done this on Y level 11. You could do this on like 10, 11, or 12. Just remember if you run into lava or if you run into water, then this could cause this entire machine to uh, to stop running. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind when you're choosing your Y levels to be at. Now, uh, other than that, that's the machine. Uh, to go ahead and stop this manually, you're simply going to break the minecart. And then, whoa, just glowed orange because of our wrench. Um, if you open up a chest, which, hold up, let's do that. If you open up the chest, you can now see everything that is mined. So you can see it's mined stacks of cobblestone, it's found a diamond, it's found some redstone dust, um, it's found the redstone torch, and you can see if I break this one, it should still have some, uh, still have the rails inside. So, uh, yeah, that's the miner. So, I know that there's ways to improve this. Uh, I highly recommend if you find a better way to do this, go ahead and uh, write a comment. Other than that, I'm going to probably upload a video on how to make a quarry, which is a different version of this, where it's going to go from the very top all the way down to bedrock and then stop. Um, I'm probably going to upload that in the next couple of days. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and uh, subscribe. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all in the next one.